Hi, this is Richard Quack here, coming to you live from Malaysia. I would like to welcome you to my weekly live video. And in today's session, I would like to talk about marketing. And the topic is the success cycle in network marketing. Now, I'm sure some of you are involved in network marketing. Okay, so this is a very important topic if you are in network marketing or you are intending to go into network marketing. Now, network marketing is a unique type of business. It is unlike conventional businesses outside there because it is based on relationship. It is based on um, building a network and so on. Okay, so today I'm talk about the normal process that a networker need to go through in order to become successful. So are you ready for this? Okay, if you are ready, let's proceed then. This is the six step process I want to outline here. Number one, and the most important of all is about mindset. Do you believe that mindset plays an important role, not only in the business or network marketing, but in anything that you do, mindset is important. Okay, now as far as mindset is concerned, what is your belief about network marketing? That's the most important thing. Now, do you believe in network marketing? Yeah, how, how, how many percent is your belief? Is it only 20% belief or is it 90%, 100%? So your belief must be strong if you want to be successful. That is the first thing about mindset. Number two, do you believe about your company's product? Because the network marketing company, the network marketing company have their own range of products. So uh, you believe in the product and the most important question, are you using the product at all? Yeah. So if you are involved with the company and you're not using the company's product, how can you promote the product that you are not uh, confident about? Okay, so uh, the company is important. Uh, believe in the company product is important. Believe in the company as well. Do you believe in the company that this is a great company? The management is good and so on. So the belief system is very important. All right, and also the compensation plan. The company has got your own compensation plan. You believe in a compensation plan that it can help you achieve your dream. Now, you belong to a team, all right? You sign out under somebody, you belong to a team. Uh, you, you believe in your team and the system that they have in place. That is also important. And most of all, do you believe in yourself? Well, the truth is that if you don't believe in yourself, don't expect other people to believe in you. All right. Now, the other thing is about mindset. Uh, it's about uh, teamwork because network marketing is about teamwork. So your mindset must be geared towards working as a team, not as an individual. I know some people, they are good in whatever they do as an individual, but when it comes to teamwork, they are weak there. So you got to work as a team. So your mindset must be all for the team, work together as a team. All right. Now, the last thing is focus and persistence. Now, like anything in life, you got to be Persistent, you got to be focused, you got to be persistent, you got to take the appropriate action, the necessary action in order to succeed. All right, so that's what you need to know about the proper mindset. Okay, having the right belief system, I would say. Okay, that's number one. Number two, you need to create a name list. All right, these are the name lists that you're going to approach. So, you know, some people call it name list, some people call it a prospect list, whatever it is. But it is a list of names that you are going to approach. Okay. Now, some people use the name list from their head. All right? They write down about 200 names of people that they know of. Now, the problem is that, you know, uh, with 200 names, how far can you go? Because, you know, 200 names won't go far because after a few weeks or months, you run out of prospect. Isn't it true? And then the problem is as it is also that you know these 200 names are the people that you know quite well that's why they're on your list and do you do know that people who know you very well is the most difficult to convince they've seen you many times before they in fact they see you fail many times before why should they believe in you okay now the other alternative is why limit yourself to 200 names when you have got social media outside there like facebook like linkedin like TikTok, Instagram, and so on. Okay, now Facebook alone has got two over billion members. That means it translates to two million, uh, two billion, sorry, billion prospects. That is only one social network. So you will never run out of prospect. Is it better than the two hundred names? Of course, 
Well, I'm not saying that it's going to be easy protecting on social media, but you got to learn how to do it and be patient about it as well. Nothing in life comes easy. You got to learn and be patient and implement it. Okay. So the second thing is the pro prospect list, which is important. Okay. I know some people they buy prospect list. All right. They buy prospect list. The certain uh, vendors over there they sell you the name, telephone number of things. But then, you know, uh, I don't know. Call calling is not 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 for me. That's for sure. You know, cold calling is not easy. I don't know about you, whether you can do cold calling. Hmm? Calling people that you do not know is not easy. So, you see, but on the internet, on the social media, you don't meet up these people. You only text them. Okay, you communicate with them. So, it's much easier. Number three is prospecting. You got to go through the prospecting. Important. Okay, invite invitation to get more information. You invite these people to get from your name list just now, all right? You prospect them and then invite them to get more information about your product, about your business, and so on. And one thing I'm going to say is that this is a sorting process because not everybody will be interested in what you're offering. Isn't it true? Not everybody is interested uh, in what you're offering. It, it may be not the cup of tea. It's not the cup of tea, probably. So basically, you've got to sort through a lot of people, okay? You've got to sort through a lot of people to find the right people for your team. So prospecting is very important. This is an ongoing process. You cannot stop prospecting. Even though you are already um, 10 years, 15 years, or 20 years in the business, you have to keep on prospecting if you want to become successful. Okay, prospecting is a non-stop event. Number four is presentation. When you prospect, you bring them to do a presentation to show them about the product, to show them about the company. Okay, presentation can be done offline. And offline method is basically one-to-one, -one, all right, in a coffee shop or, you know, you meet them somewhere one-to-one -one, or in a small little group, three, four people or in a hotel or in a group, okay? So in a bigger group in a hotel. So basically, this is offline. But today, you can also do online, presentation online. That means uh, uh, you have a, what do you call, uh, online presentation that you have recorded and is on your website that people can go there and view it. It save a lot of time and trouble as well. You don't have to keep on doing the presentation. You record it one time and it's online. All right. And then just people point people to the website to, to, to view the presentation. All right. You send them to the website or you have auto webinar or you can do uh, live with them on a Zoom session. And so, so basically today, uh, doing presentation is not as difficult as previously. Okay. Last time to do presentation is so difficult. All right. You got to meet somewhere. But today, from the comfort of your own home, you can do presentation over Zoom. Isn't it easier? Okay, that's number four. Number five is closing. It's no point doing all the first three, but uh, first four, but you don't have closing. Closing is crucial. A lot of uh, the, the, the successful people, they have good closing. That's why they can become successful. Keep in touch to build relationship. The whole point of closing is to keep in touch Okay, and build relationship with them, build trust with them so that they trust you. They might not join you today, but if you build a relationship with you, if you build a relationship with them, all right, over a period of time, they come to trust you, then they might change their mind. And remember, as far as closing is concerned, you, you cannot be too pushy. All right, I know uh, uh, the old way of doing network marketing, people are very pushy. Would you like to join now? Here is, uh, please give me your ID number and so blah, blah, blah. You know, fill in the form now. That's very pushy. All right, so today, you know, you, you don't uh, use uh, those type of push marketing. Today, we use attraction marketing. That means you attract these people to you. How do you attract them? By becoming somebody who can help them. A person who is influential, a person who is knowledgeable and so on. When people trust you, then you attract them to you. Okay, so that is about closing. And also, when you do closing, uh, talk about your pain, Pain point is very important. Very important. Talk about their desire as well. All right. What What do you mean by that? Well, they might be fed up with their job, fed up with uh, uh, traveling in, with their job. And so, so basically, these are the things that, you know, look at their pain point. Talk to them. That's why it's important when you uh, talk to them, ask a lot of questions so that you can find out more about them. So you know what are their pain points. Okay. So as far as closing is concerned, you're going to touch on the pain point that makes them painful. When they are painful, then they will take action. Okay, that's number five. Number six, 
is follow up. The last thing is that you need to have follow up. Follow up is very, very important. All right, because you don't close immediately. People don't join you in one uh, session. All right, you need to follow up. And you got to follow up within 48 hours because if you follow up after that, they probably forgot about it because there are so many people talking to them about so many things, you know, especially now with the social media and internet. All right, so you got to follow up within 48 hours when they still remember who you are or what they heard about from you, okay? So within 48 hours, and the whole idea of follow-up is to provide them with more information, that's all. Okay, to provide them more information, not to push them to sign up. Okay, provide them with more information, and you can do that also by information drip, info drip, yeah? Uh, every once a week or every few times a week, you send them information, information drip, uh, information about the product, about the business, and so on. And then you can send them to your website, to your webinar that you have, yeah, and, and, and invite them to your online meeting or whatever that you have. Okay, so that is follow up. So these are the things that you need to do if you want to be successful in network marketing. Okay, let me uh, summarize for you. The first thing is uh, you need to have the proper mindset. Okay, the proper belief system. Number two, you need to have a name list or a prospect list. Number three, you got to do the prospecting. Number four, you got to do the presentation. Number five, you got to close them. And lastly, number six, you got to follow up with them. Okay. So that's all my sharing for today. I hope that you learned something here. If you like what you hear and you see, please feel free to like, to share, and to comment. Okay. Today in Malaysia, it's already Friday. Uh, I wish you a pleasant weekend. I'll see you again for another session of my live video on Monday. So this is Richard Quack wishing you good night and goodbye.